okay so now that we know what is agent force and what are the key features of agent force and we also have seen the demo of agent force now let's understand how to get an agent force enabled org and uh, how to create some smart ai agents right so earlier what used to what used to happen was uh, salesforce has provided an uh, agent force enabled playground on trailhead but now salesforce has also enabled agent force and data cloud in the developer edition org so you just need to go to uh, just a minute you just need to go to developer.salesforce.com slash sign up so this is the url where you need to go to and here is a form to create uh, to create one developer edition org so once you sign up for your developer edition org you will get an email and after verifying the email you will just land into your developer edition org that will look like this right so i have already signed up for this developer edition org and this is my newly created developer edition org right now to create some smart ai agents or to enable agent force in, into this org there are few basic steps which you, which you need to perform right so the those few basic steps involved just go to setup and in the setup let's find agent force you see there is no agent uh, there is agent force data library but there is no agent force agents or agent force uh, there is nothing related to agent force right so first the first step towards enabling agent force is to enable einstein first right so you just need to type einstein into the setup just go to einstein setup over here click on this and you make sure that you are turning on this einstein right so just turn on this einstein now let's refresh this page and see if agent force is now available you see we have the agent force studio available now and into which we have agent force agents and agent force assets available right now when you click on this agent force agents okay so the first step first step was to turn on einstein the second step is to turn on the agent force right so to turn on agent force you just need to again come to setup type agent force agents click on this and you see there is a toggle of agent force right let's turn it on and now we have an option of uh, enable the agent force default agent right so let me show you one thing once you refresh this page you see uh, as soon as we enable the einstein uh, when you turn on the einstein you will see an icon appearing over here this is agent force icon right earlier this was called as agent force uh, copilot or uh, einstein copilot but now this is renamed as agent force so once you click on this you will see that uh, we have a chat window which is loading but not opening anything right so once you turn on this enable the agent force default agent what does that mean see whenever we have a chat here or when we whenever we open a chat there is an agent which appears right so right now this agent was disabled right so that's why we did not have uh, uh, this agent coming up over here right so once you enable this agent see what what does it say enable the agent force default agent which means let's enable that agent force agent this agent is uh, is a standard agent provided by salesforce to make you understand how uh, the agents looks like like right so once you turn on this and let's refresh this page and now you see let's got it now you see there is an agent which is coming up over here but still we are getting an error why no worry uh, no matter if you refresh this page as well you will still get that error now once you enable that uh, okay let's start from start the first step was to enable the einstein once you enable the einstein you will get an icon over here once you enable the agent force default agent you will see the agent coming up over here but with an error right so this agent will not work right now why because this agent agent force agency agent force default agent there is a list of agent available into your org so right now we only have one 
agent available over here which is standard agent provided by salesforce and this is inactive right now you see there is no checkbox uh, there is no right tick over here into active so just click on to this agent and to activate this agent you have to click on this open in builder and let's activate this right don't worry about uh, this panel i'll uh, i'll definitely explain you this panel uh, in this lecture only so once you activated this panel let's refresh this page again and now you see there is no error right so there is an uh, welcome message coming up over here which is hi i am agent force an ai assistant what i can do this is this show more now this agent is a service type uh, this is this agent is an employee type of agent right what is an employee type of agent what are what different types available are there uh, in the agent force we'll definitely discuss in this lecture but for now you just understand that what is the basic setup of uh, enabling agent force right so the basic setup enabling uh, to enable the agent forces uh, includes two steps right one is to turn on the i stream the second one is to turn on the agent force once you turn on the agent force you will get an option to turn on the default agent as well right so once you turn on the the default agent you will see one agent coming up over here but with an error to remove that error you have to activate that agent and once you activate that agent you will see that uh, that, that er error is gone right so this is how we enable that if we enable agent force into our developer edition org